Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Clown with Elise, and I'm so excited about the products I have to share with you. We have a bunch of stuff from Kel of a Plan, including a four book sticker bundle. Look at this. We have tweezers that have the little Kel of a Plan um, logo on them right there. Okay, wait. Yeah, we have those. Then we have these are two retractable knives. And I was so excited when I showed or when I got these and I said to Heather, look, can you see what that yellow one, that glimmer? This is actual knife, not like ceramic cutting. So these are amazing. And then we have a sticker book storage case. This is like a black it's kind of like a canvas, but I don't know. It has like a little bit more of a, I don't know. There's some kind of feel to it. And then you have the little zipper charm. This holds 10 to 30 sticker books and it zips closed. So this is $25. We'll get it zipped. Then we have the tweezers are $7. The cutters is a pack of two for $7. And then this bundle is $70. So you save $10 because you're buying them all at once. Um, because I think the question will come, I doubt that these are going to be released separately or individually, um, only as a bundle. So let's take a look. Now, this release is going to be on Friday, December 8th at 10 a.m. Central. And of course, I will have my link in the description for you to shop. If you love seasonal planning, you are going to love this sticker bundle. I hope these four seasonal illustration sticker books help you to plan a life you love all year long. XOXO Heather. The perfect gift to buy yourself <laughs> leading into a new year. So I think we're going to start with Hello Fall just because we are technically still in fall, although I know everyone is in winter mode. 805 stickers for your planner. So we have a fall bucket list, go to a football game, carve a pumpkin, enjoy a pumpkin spice latte, buy school supplies, family photos, visit a pumpkin patch, fair day, decorate for fall, go apple picking, Thanksgiving dinner, rake leaves, make a pumpkin pie, watch a football game, visit a haunted house, bake pumpkin bread, go on a hayride, trick or treating, Friendsgiving, watch the leaves change and make s'mores. And a second page, but with color in those. Then we have fall quotes and holidays. So I don't know that I'm gonna go through all of these because with four books, it's going to be a ton, but some examples, we have Black Friday, Dia de los Muertos, Rosh Hashanah, Halloween, Thanksgiving, pumpkin spice, everything, a thankful heart is a happy heart. So again, it's a combination of holidays and quotes, and then a second page in color. <clears throat> then we have fall quotes game day, autumn vibes, light breeze, colorful trees, colorful leaves, bare trees, it must be fall. And then a second page. Then we have all things pumpkin spice. So for all the pumpkin spice lovers out there, and then you have stickers to coordinate a spread in your planner. So we have the bullet points, checklists, and boxes. Next up is kind of like I want to say rainy fall, but because we have the umbrella, but fall clothes and leaves. Fall attire, we'll call that one. And then the coordinating stickers. So you get one page of coordinating boxes and checklists. Then we have Halloween and the coordinating stickers, Thanksgiving and coordinating boxes, all the leaves. And coordinating. We have pumpkin patch vibes. I like the teal pumpkins too. And coordinating. Then some more realistic looking pumpkins. We have football, which is fun. We don't, I feel like we don't see a lot of football stickers. And then we have apple picking. So this will carry you through fall from start to finish. And then we have jack-o'-lanterns or carved pumpkins, I guess, if there's no light in them, they're not really a jack-o'-lantern, right? And then we have 
which I love and I know you will too, additional boxes in all the colors that we saw. So the header boxes, the quarter boxes, the full boxes, more quarter ones, and a second page. So there's a ton of functionality in here and it's probably going to be that way for each season. Now that we are getting close to winter, let's take a look. So winter bucket list. Snow day, drink hot cocoa, make your resolutions, go ice skating, Christmas gifts, build a snowman, new year party, read a book, decorate for winter, prep Valentine cards, Christmas baking day, winter, winter clothes shopping, ugly sweater contest, choose a word of the year, knitting project, Valentine date night, Valentine party, St. Patrick's parade. And then again, we have holidays and quotes. So there's Kwanzaa, Valentine's Day, Hanukkah, St. Patrick's Day, Mardi Gras, New Year's, cuddle weather, hot cocoa, and fuzzy socks. Have a sparkling new year. I like that. And then one page in color. And then we have winter quotes, when snow falls, nature listens, dance in the winter. It's winter, y'all. And the color page. And then we have these snowflakes. I like this color these colors. They're like a really pretty soft blue. You can kind of see them better here. And then we have winter clothes, kind of similar to the setup of fall. And look at these pumpkins and snowmen. These are really cute. And these are not actually on boxes. So here, we're testing out the tweezers now. These are pumpkins. We'll put it here so you can see it's going to be over that colored background, but I like how it's laid out in the book too. And if you wanted it on this, you could probably even cut this out because this would be really one whole sticker. You would just need to, to cut it. And then the coordinating ones, those tweezers worked really nicely and they're really easy to squeeze. Sometimes when I use these, my hand really hurts the next day because it takes a lot of pressure to, to squeeze these, to tweeze them. Um, this is just a really easy tweeze with a nice long, I don't know, stem, I guess we'll call it. Then we have Christmas sweaters or winter sweaters. And then we have New Year's stickers. Happy New Year, 54321. And the coordinating. And then we have Cozy Winter. You've got a dog and a cat. So every time we have stickers that have either a dog or a cat, everyone else wants the opposite. So you've got both in here. <laughs> so we have tea, some, some knitting, a fireplace. This is really cute. And then the coordinating. Then we have Valentine's. Be mine. I like the little kind of glittery styled elements there. And then we have Christmas, because remember this is a winter book. And then St. Patrick's Day. And the second page. And then Hot Cocoa. I love this one. And then Gingerbread Houses. I keep saying and then, sorry, I'll try. I'll try to be better. And to continue, we have all of the boxes to coordinate with the stickers that you saw earlier. So if you thought that there weren't enough boxes, there are plenty right here. Now let's dive into spring. Spring has 740 stickers. I don't think I noted that winter had 752. So they're all within 65 stickers of each other. Hello spring. So we have the spring bucket list, pick strawberries, dye Easter eggs, pick berries, spring cleaning, visit a farmer's market, go to a baseball game, Yard work, see cherry blossoms, release butterflies, ride a bike, dance in the rain, fly a kite, garden, go to the park, Easter brunch, splash in puddles, go on a picnic, buy flowers, hunt Easter eggs. And then in color, then we have spring holidays, also the dates and quotes. So May Day, Mother's Day, National Nurses Day, Palm Sunday, Good Friday, Passover. This says Chag Pesach Sameach. It's how you wish someone um, a happy Passover. The great gift of Easter is hope. Arbor Day even, Earth Day, Daylight Saving begins. Sorry, I was getting a little hiccupy in there. We have Ramadan in there too, National Teachers Day. 
And then we have spring quotes. Spring is the time of plans and projects. I'm sorry for the things I said when it was winter. <laughs> yup, that's how I'm feeling and winter's not even here yet. And then in color, look at these cherry blossom stickers. These are absolutely beautiful. Oh, those are so pretty. And I love the coordinating ones with it. So pretty. Then we have these bicycles and look, they're like rainbow bicycles. <gasps> Oh my goodness, these are so cute. Oh, these are so cute. And the coordinating ones with them. Then we have spring fashion. I think I was just calling it winter and fall clothes, but I feel like once we hit spring, we're gonna call it fashion. These are pretty colors. Then we have Easter. Cute little chicks there, like the bunny. That bunny's tired. All egg hunted out. And then we have gardening. Everything livens up again in the spring. Look at these. Oh, I love these florals with the ladybugs. Those are so cute. And we have butterflies. And then the boots, the rain boots with the flowers and the umbrellas and even the little rain drops here. Then we have spring cleaning. Raise your hand if you'll need to make a spring cleaning list because I know I will. Well, I'm trying to keep everything clean now, but at least like a full blown cleaning in the spring. Then we jump to baseball. So this is really fun. I can make this for like my niece and nephew or yeah, I guess my niece and nephew because she plays softball and he plays baseball for like a sports schedule page or just like the week that baseball opens again. And then the boxes. Very cute. Okay, up next and final is summer. Summer is what I am always waiting for. I should really just move somewhere that it's summer year round because I live for summer. <laughs> All right, summer bucket list, homemade ice cream, pool party, buy new sunglasses, make lemonade, ice cream party, summer vacation, camp out, visit the zoo, enjoy a tropical drink, swim lessons, have a barbecue, Make s'mores, fishing day, beach day, pool day, host a lemonade stand, beach vacation, enjoy the sunshine, watch fireworks, and visit water park. Summer bucket list in color. Then we have summer holidays and quotes. First day of summer, Juneteenth, Father's Day, 4th of July, sun kissed, hello sunshine, I was made for, sun, for sunny days. And then in color and more summer quotes. Here comes the sun when all else fails, take a vacation. Take me where summer never ends, exactly. Find me at the pool. And then we have some ice cream and popsicles. Fourth of July stickers and fireworks, a little grill. Pool days with the goggles and the umbrella, the pool noodles too. Those are cute. The donut style floats. And all things sun. This is a here comes the sun spread, or this is a here comes the sun sticker sheet, but it would make such a fun cheery spread. You could even use like black a little bit to make this pop even more. Then we have beach days with the sand castle, a bathing suit, surfboard, sunscreen. And the lemonade, fresh squeezed lemonade, is a signal to me that summer has begun. So all things lemon. I love the green and yellow there together. Now we have vacation. So I love these stickers that are like the view out of a plane. And then the Polaroids down here. I think that's so cute. Little travel page. That's really cute with the Polaroids there together. And now we have some summer fashion, right? <laughs> fashion. We have bathing suits, flip-flops, sunglasses, and hats. And then sunnies. These are cute, the glasses and the sunglasses. I think a lot of these you can combine together too. It's not like each page has to be its own spread, but you could also do it that way if you wanted to. And then we have the flamingos and the Montserrat leaves. I hope I'm saying that right. These are cute. 
I love the pink and green and black together. And now all of the boxes to coordinate. This is the Hello Seasons, I wanted to get the name right, four book bundle. Hello Summer, Hello Spring, Hello Winter, and Hello Fall. I think we should do some planning with these. So I thought what could be fun for sharing how I how to use these stickers is different types of layouts. So I actually have an undated monthly layout here. And I thought that we could start with winter because while it is still fall, winter is the next season to plan for. So we're going to start with winter and these monthly pages. I am going to try to make this <laughs> a little bit quick because we have four to do. Um, but I thought that these would be fun. So let's see. I really like the penguins. I also kind of like the fashion. Let's see. Right now I'm sort of focused on these penguins. We did the sweaters recently. New Year's, I want to save those for New Year's, of course. Um, I do like the cozy vibes. I know I should have decided this before we... Okay, I think we're going to do the penguins because I just feel like they're really cute. So, oh, I, sh I also need to show you how to cut how how these cut. We'll test those shortly. Um, so let's take, let's do the pumpkin, as uh, pumpkins, the, the penguins. Now, one thing I'm going to say about these tweezers that I'm already liking better than the other tweezers I use is that I feel like these aren't going to rip the sticker. Let's get this here. They're kind of next to each other. Like when I'm using these, this tip is so sharp. This isn't as sharp that I often rip the sticker as I'm pulling it up. And so I don't feel like that's going to happen here, which is really nice. So I can just get a nice pull as I'm saying that. <laughs> but I think that these are going to really be perfect to replace the tweezers that I am using. Okay, then we're going to use these here for the check it off section. I hope I have enough. I didn't, I didn't count them, but I think we should be okay. And if not, we will survive. So we'll put these down here. Now, these of course are bigger than the bullets that are already there, but they do fit in between the lines. We will have enough. There'll be, there sh I think it's 10. And two more. Okay, perfect. Now let's grab one of these stickers and we can put it right over here. And then let's look for a quote that might fit nicely here. Cuddle weather, maybe. I think cuddle weather is good. Now I'm not using this anymore as a goal planner, but if you were, here are some ideas on how you can do it. Okay, let's get back to the rest of those pages. So <clears throat> now over here, what you can do is take, let's say one, two, and three and I need my correction tape because we're going to take these and put them here. One, two, and three. And you can kind of like categorize these as priorities if you wanted to. Then let's take a taller sticker here for jot it down. And let's go back to the pumpkins. Pumpkins, what is wrong with me? Penguins, <laughs> penguins. Oh my goodness. 
and we can bring some penguins in over here. Penguin. Now watch, when I do the fall one, if I use pumpkins, I'm gonna be calling them penguins. <laughs> and then I think it would be fun to bring in also um, a double box, but because I have that double box right there, I think we're gonna put this one right over here. And then if I go back to these, we can bring in, it's gonna do stay cozy. I was looking for something that's gonna be a little bit more wide. Um, let's see, we did cuddle weather, so maybe now we do snuggle weather since we have cuddle weather. So we can put snuggle weather right here and then bring in a cup of hot cocoa right there with it. And then you can even take the back of this. It might make my camera shake a little bit, but you can take the back and kind of press this down just to really get that color in there. Then we're going to include some more boxes over here. So this will kind of be like that space for whatever area you're going to use this page for. Um, let's put this here. So if you're using this as monthly goals, you can do it that way. If you wanna use it as like an overview, you can put down things that are happening in the month. Oh, I didn't see this yellow one before. Do we have room for the yellow? We do. Oh, but then I can't put the pink there. Okay, we'll put this yellow here. And then we'll put maybe another yellow kind of layered right over that. And then we still have more stickers. So let's bring in a snowflake over here. And then I want to include another hot cup of hot cocoa. So we can bring this right here. And if you wanted to, you could cover up this note to self. And do this, but combined with something. So let's put this here with a little snowflake, layer it over it. Just like that. Look how cute that is. And then you could write for the month of, I would assume, January because um, we're already in December by the time you're seeing this. Okay, so that is Hello Winter. Next up, let's do spring and we're going to do it with a currently page. So let's see. I'm trying to find a fun spring sticker here that will fit in this space nicely. So I think we're going to do spring is the best time for new beginnings. And we are gonna have a little bit of space here. So I thought that the stickers that I would use would be the butterflies. I just think that they're really pretty. So I wanna take, let's see. I think what we're gonna do here is a little bit of a sticker trick. We're gonna try it. I've actually never tried this before, but we're gonna try it now. Because <laughs> why not? So I'm actually, I have cut this out before but I'm gonna try to white it out. We need more than that, right? Yeah. I'm gonna start to put this down so that I can kind of gauge how much more I need. I think probably two more. Nope, a little bit more, whoops. Then it's pulling up the sticker. Okay, actually, I think that that worked. That worked pretty nicely. I could have gone a little bit further at the bottom, but I knew that you could see that, so we're okay. Now let's take one of these double boxes and put it over here. 
since I knew I'd be doing four spreads with this, I really didn't want to do four vertical spreads. I felt like it was going to make more sense to show different ways to use these stickers. So hopefully you're enjoying the change a little bit. And I felt like because I knew I wanted to use butterflies, I thought that that quote was going to be perfect. And then we're just going to take these butterflies and kind of sprinkle them going down this, this page. That one's going to get cut off a little bit. That's okay. Then let's take, we have that one's a green. Let's take a yellow. Let's put this right here. And then let's cut here. Of course, I'll need to punch that hole. That's pretty. And then we can bring in some of these boxes. So you can do this one as like an overview and we can even give it a little header box and we'll bring in let's see one two and three so we can take the pink let's do the green and the teal and then I wanted to save the bigger boxes for these areas although because that's shifted I think it'll be okay because what I can do now is take the leftover butterflies and Put them over here so let's do this one I don't think we used this one yet just trying to be careful about the placement so that you can still see enough of it these moths are butterflies are they a combination I don't know <laughs> I'm not entirely sure and then this can maybe even overlap on that one a little bit And then we'll take my We Are Memory Keepers punch. Sorry if that just made the camera shake. We'll punch right here. And that is a little spring themed currently page. It's really cute. For summer, I have a Happy Planner daily page. And I thought that we could do 4th of July here because... There tends to be a lot of like 4th of July planning and I thought that it would make sense to kind of set up a page this way. Now, because of this dark shading, you might see it a little bit through the sticker, but we're just gonna be okay with it for this because when you write over it anyway, you can't see it. So we're gonna leave that be. And then let's take this banner here and put this, let's see, I don't want to cover up too much of the date, unless maybe this goes here or goes here. Let's cover up the date, because if the idea is that this is a 4th of July planning page, then it's not necessarily needed as a daily. We'll just kind of put it like that and trim off the edges. This might be a record. I don't know that I've ever done four spreads in a video. Oh, you know what? No, I've done um, like seven dailies, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit different. And then we're going to cover up this today's focus. Trying to curve these is never easy because it always ends up pulling the correction tape off. And we can just bring in a firework right over here because it's around the same shape. Although, if I'm not being lazy, we really need to cover this up because you're going to be able to see it through. It's one of the reasons I don't often use these tally sheets is because there ends up being a lot of covering up to make it work for how I want to. But this pen goes pretty quickly. A little squeaky. 
It's okay. We can deal with a little squeak today. There we go. We do need to trim. And punch. Tiny bit to punch here. But if you don't punch those little bits, it's not going to go in your planner. Okay. Now, over here. Um, I think that... How do we want to do this? Let's bring in box over here. And then maybe we can do this red one. Oh, we're not going to have space. Okay. Because I shifted that over too much. If I moved it to the left, we would have we would have been okay. But it's actually, I think it's fine because there's plenty of functional space in here. So let's bring in a popsicle and we already have a cupcake. So let's do a hot dog and then this little heart. That's cute. Okay. Now let's trying to decide if I want to do the bullets or I want to use those checklists, but I think that we'll we're not going to have enough bullets. That's the thing. Um, I don't know if these checklists are going to match the lines exactly. I think they're going to be pretty close though. Those are pretty close. I think that we'll stick with those because then I can use the bullets over at the priorities. This is a pretty good match. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Of course, we do have some space down at the bottom, but for priorities, we can do this, this, and this. Now let's bring in another box over here for that self-care section. And then we have a little bit of space down at the bottom. So we can bring in Probably some more fireworks would make sense. Let's pull that out. Oh, and we still have to show you, we still have to work with the, um, the ceramic pen tools, the ceramic knife pen tools. I don't know what the exact name of them is. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try it here. Now I will say traditionally, I don't love using these kinds of tools to cut clear stickers because I don't, I think that it's a little bit challenging, but what we're going to do is go to the back of the sticker book so that if I slice, I'm not slicing my desk. And yeah, that's why I don't love using these for clear stickers, but because I feel like it pulls up the sticker. But look at that, that cut really well. I don't want to, now this is going to be stuck on the page. Let's slice here. You just have to make sure the sticker is down so it's not slicing it up. But these are really sharp. And I love that it's retractable. So just have to remember to retract it <laughs> to do that. There we go. See, we did slice on there. And then we had one more to, to do. But this is a really good tool. I want to show you cutting this tool on paper stickers because that's typically where I'm going to do it the most. So let's use one of these as the example. Um, maybe we'll grab a washi cutter and just to give me the line. Okay, that was a learning experience. There we go. That first one was where I didn't quite get it, but it cut really easily. So the nice thing about this is you can cut it directly in the page. So if you wanted to cut your bullets in half, you can just do that right there. And look, you've got half, half moon bullet points. So that is how this works. And again, these two come in a set of two. And here is a 4th of July planning page. Now for my last page for fall, I'm actually going to make a page that I'm going to use like 
now. I mean, not in this moment. I'm not going to write in it during the whole video, but it's a page that I'm going to make for my planner. So I was flipping through this and I saw these, which I really, really love. And I decided I wanted to make kind of a fall sort of memories page, sort of journaling page. So I'm actually going to cut off the fall bucket list. Where does this go? Here. This is another way to use this. And we'll use the tweezer to pull this up. I didn't quite cut through there. I felt like because I was curving it, it wasn't cutting. We know though that I'm not great at cutting things, so don't let this be an indicator <laughs> of how these work. Um, fall, and then I'm going to take a paper mate flare. and do fall feelings. And then let's go back to those pages. If I can find them again. There we go, these. Okay, so let's bring in some leaves and we'll do another little one right over here. And then I want to bring in a double box. And this is going to be a page for me to sort of recap my fall season. As I'm thinking of it now, a lot happened this fall. I, um, let's see, I mean, starting in September, I went, I kicked off Labor Day, or I, I spent Labor Day um, weekend like at the pool, which was amazing. And that was the exact way that I wanted to spend it. And then we're going to do a little bit of layering here because I'll be able to write on these. Um, and then we had a Happy Planner fall release. Then I went to Austin and spent time with Marielle and went to the Texas Planner Babes conference in Round Rock. And then October was a lot of like home stuff and kids sports. And then what else happened in October? A little bit of getting back into the dating pool. And then I went to Rhode Island at the end of October to visit uh, friends that I grew up with, which was such an amazing trip. And then it kicked off November almost immediately at the Chicago Planner Conference. And in November, I'm filming this in November, just so you know, today is the day before Thanksgiving. So in November, I've been very focused on the busyness that Cyber Week brings and preparing for that and trying to get my content filmed ahead of time. As I said, this is the day before Thanksgiving. So we've got some time before these stickers release. Um, but also kind of getting myself ready for the new seasons and a new a new year in my home and um kicking off i don't know the new year in this i keep saying new but um it's it makes sense like how do i describe it so let's let's explain this a little bit 2020 New Year's going into 2020, I was living in my studio apartment and I spent that New Year's Eve with um, my ex and his friends. And that was before everything changed, right? It was before COVID hit. We had no idea what 2020 was going to bring. New Year's in 2022 or changing to 2021, at that point, I had moved out of my apartment. I had moved out of my exes and I was living at my old one bedroom apartment. And that's where I spent New Year's Eve going into 2021. New Year's Eve going into 2022, I guess was also spent there. Yeah, because I lived there for a year and a half. So New Year's Eve was also spent there. Um, and then New Year's 
2023, I spent at my two bedroom apartment with my friend Betsy. And now going into 2024, I don't know what my plans are, but it's less about my plans and more about my environment because it's now going to be, you know, going into a new year as a homeowner and everything kind of reflecting on everything I've been through to get to this point. So um, I feel like that didn't make a lot of sense, but in my brain, it makes a lot of sense. And that's kind of how I've been spending November and preparing for December is like, what do I want this next phase of my life to look like? Okay, I just kind of wanted to put some random bullets down as like places to write down things to remember or memories from the season. So that's why I put those here. And then we have fall feelings. I didn't use a ton of those stickers though. Um, let's bring in an umbrella because one of the things I can write down was how rainy it was. I felt like it rained all of, put this here. I missed a lot of sports for my niece and nephew at the beginning of the year or beginning of the season because it was raining like every weekend. And I love my niece and nephew, but spending a couple hours at a field when it's raining, I feel like it takes so much time to recover from that and warm up and dry off. And I felt like I was worried I was going to get sick. And I just felt like there's a lot I'll do as an aunt, but I don't know that spending a whole weekend in the pouring rain is on the ant duties list. I don't know. Maybe you disagree, but <laughs> I just felt like it maybe wasn't the best thing for me. Um, but then I was, I was gone three weekends in the month. So I also missed sports because of traveling, but I made it to the last games of the season. They both ended the seasons with a win. They both played amazingly well, and I'm really proud to be their aunt. So I can write about the rain. I can write about the travels. I can note little memories or milestones that happened. Um, so don't feel like a page that you make in your planner has to be a certain way. You can just make a page for your feelings. So we have hello fall and fall feelings. We have hello summer and a 4th of July. Sorry, we weren't on camera. 4th of July planning, planning page. Hello spring and a currently page. And hello winter and winter monthly layout overview pages. In addition to these tweezers, the dual set of um, the ceramic cutting tools, and then we have the sticker storage. So let's open this and put these in. Everything releases on Friday, December 8th, 10 a.m. Central. If you uh, would be so kind as to use my affiliate link, it really does, it really does help. So this was taken, there we go. It just, I had to lift up the edge there. What's going on here? There we go. You just have to flatten it in there so that it, it stores everything. They can't, there we go. Um, I was just asking if you would use my, my affiliate link to shop if I've influenced you to purchase. We'll get these in. And then we have also the tools side. So you can put your cutting tools. You can put tweezers in here. You can include a pen and then you have a handle at the top as well. So that is a wrap. I hope you enjoyed. And remember that these stickers also come in this simple storage box with the four book sticker bundle. Okay. I think we're all set. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Again, my link is in the description and I will see you soon.